Welcome back for part number two of the Pearson Access Next training. Um, this session we're going to talk about how to find sessions. Um, a session is defined as the group of students that you as the test administrator are delivering the test to. So those students that are sitting in your classroom are considered to be part of your test session. Okay. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice with this, and it's going to be different from when you give the test, is just the color of the screen. You will notice that here on my screen, this is brown. And when we do this for real, yours will look like this. Yours will look blue. All right. But what I'm able to do in this brown site, this is the training site. So this allows me to create test sessions and to kind of play around with things and make these videos for you um, without having to mainly mess up anything that's over here in the legitimate real site. So it's going to look exactly the same except for the color will change from brown to blue. No big deal. All right, so now we want to find our test sessions. Okay, First thing you want to do, you want to go up here to the top. Make sure that you are in PBA if you are delivering a PBA test. So that's the February, March. And later on in April and May if you are delivering the end of year you want to click here for end of year. Okay, So we're in PBA and we are once again concerned just with this box here. That's all we're worried about. Click on the down arrow. Click on sessions. This will then bring up a window that doesn't really look like it has a lot. We have to do one more step to be able to see all the different sessions. Right here on this search bar we want to click the down arrow and click on show all results. So that is checked. And when we do that, it will pull up every single test session that has been built for your classroom, okay? or for your building, excuse me. What you want to do is you want to find the correct test and the correct name. Um, it's going to be the teacher name um, for this. So if you are an elementary school teacher, you are probably administering both the math test and the ELA test to your students. You need to be very careful of which test it is that you get into. So if you're doing ELA, make sure you click on the one that says ELA. If you're doing math, make sure you click on the one that says math. Uh, because if you're starting a, if you get in and you start the wrong test and your students log in, you're going to have some conflict issues. Okay, But just be very careful, take your time, go through things. Okay. So I'm going to look through this list, and I am delivering a math test today uh, to my students, part one of two. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to find my name. Here's Seymour, and it says math. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm indicated that I want to get in and be able to control that session, start the session, stop the session, so on and so forth. Okay. So now I'm going to scroll back to the top of the page. And I'm going to go up here to this bar that says Select Tasks. I'm going to click on the down button. And I'm going to go to the very bottom of this where it says Show Students in Sessions and Control Sessions. I'm going to click on that. It will pull up another window. And you want to go over here to where it says Your Name. And it says Your, once again, check the subject. Make sure you're in the right thing, Math or ELA. And now I've got all of my controls to be able to control this test. All right. So we're going to stop there, and we're going to come back with part number three of how to control the session and how to print off everything that you're going to need.